Hi Cubies, here's your Alexandra. Today I will show you how to make a street-like base like this one here. This is not painted yet, but uh, I think you can see what is coming out. So, what do you need for this? You need the base, then you need a cork, a little bit blue tack or a for example, white tech. This is mine. Uh, I have white it. This is uh, this stuff here. Uhu Patafix. It is called. Mm. It is uh, for putting poster strips uh, on the wall and get it back. So this base is fit now here on the cork. Now, the first step you're going to do is to apply the green stuff just on the base. Dry green stuff because it have to fit. Then you go on with your uh, um, rubber tool. This uh, has a silicone top <coughs> and uh, you wet it so that the green stuff does not stick on that and then you just pull it out to the edges of the base slightly pulling it out and I must uh, give some shout outs here naturally if you uh, want to have really really good uh, painting tutorials and tips and tricks of terra and what else uh, you need to go to Java Balls, AG Productions, um, Terranaholic, um, Irish Ranger uh, and some numbers uh, behind it, I don't remember the numbers, sorry! Um, then uh, what else? To paint miniatures. He's really good on uh, making uh, very, very realistic uh, looking hobbit holes and painting Legolas and so on. Who else? Mm, I think uh, Cup Nuck or or so he's called, it's a youngling <laughs> here on YouTube. <coughs> he makes nice uh, blood angel tutorials now with my painting technique, I guess. I think he needs more sub subscribers. Uh, I can't uh, give you a call on all the ones I really like, but you can just go on my site and there you see the list of all my subscriptions and you can go directly on every one of them. They are really cool and highly recommended. So, I think this step is done now here with flattening it. That's how it looks. And now we use uh, this tool, also wetting it. And now we make the street. Just put it on. The green stuff and you get a line. <coughs> And this you make several times until you have several lines. <laughs> and always be sure that your working tool is wet enough so does it uh, not stick too much on the green stuff. But if it does, but when it does, will uh, pull out 
green stuff from the base. That's not what you want. <clears throat> Make it a little bit uh, unequal um, because uh, older streets are not even and equal. So we're at 5 minutes and 70 seconds now. And we'll just give here the intention of the bricks and make it also uneven. Some of them bigger, some of them smaller. Just give him some life. Pull it down there, you'll get a very nice street. So, but the surface is a little bit too flat, so we use a trick. We use a bark of a tree. He has a very rough surface. We will wetten it a little bit and then we will just slightly <coughs> put it on this uh, street kite surface and give it a little bit rougher appearance <coughs> so pull out the dirt and then you have it there you see that it is a rough surface and when it is dry let it uh, for at least 24 hours on this cork do not touch it because uh, then you get uh, your finger uh, prints on the green stuff never touch the green stuff with your fingers uh, again if it is uh, if your finish is uh, if your work is finished let it dry for at least 24 hours and then you can paint it um, paint it black dry brushes with uh, with gray, then a lighter gray, and maybe uh, you can uh, put in some uh, static grass on the uh, on the corners, and it, this looks really really great. I hope you liked this tutorial from your Alexandra from Girl Painting. See you, and don't forget to subscribe, rate, and leave comments. I love to read comments. See you.